Hey guys, it's Katie here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm all about cosmetics, beauty and aesthetic. And today guys, I would love to talk about some of my February favorites. And let's start with skincare. For the skincare, I've got only two products here. And first one, I finally got my hands on Crave Beauty uh, Cleanser, Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser. And guys, that's so lovely. Uh, this cleanser is so gentle. And you can see it, the consistency is a little bit like weird, like jelly type. And as for me, it smells like mushrooms, but guys, it cleanses so well. And after that cleanser, my skin feels so hydrated and nice. I was like, wow, guys, why did it take me so long? So I've been loving this one a lot as the second step. As the first one, I still use my Zero from Vanilla Co. And the second one, I need to wipe it off. And the second one is uh, polyglutamic, <clears throat> excuse me, polyglutamic acid from the Inky List. And this one, guys, it actually makes your, the surface of the skin look, look like smoother. Mm -hmm. more even i'm not sure like both <laughs> but the skin looks so much better after using this guy i use this guy at night uh basically before the moisturizer and this one let me looks like this it soaks in the skin really quickly it's not sticky it's a little bit like thick but you don't really feel it on the skin it doesn't feel like greasy this guy is amazing okay guys i wiped everything off and now let's get into the makeup and this month i've got a lot of like liquid eyeshadows because i've been like obsessed with it re recently but first of all i would like to talk about this guy uh, from Kakashi, I believe. I'm not really good in Chinese, you know, but it's a foundation stick that changes color after application. And if you look at it, it's got some oh, um, gray, pink, red, like different types. Can you even see? I'm not sure. But guys, this guy is awesome. It looks flawless on the skin. It lightens up a little bit your skin, but guys, it's so good. But the only thing, you should apply only a little bit, otherwise it might look cakey, basically, as any foundation can, right? But this guy stays the whole day. Um, as for me, I figured out that under the primer, or with a primer, uh, it looks better, but without primer, it looks decent as well. Well, it might look a little bit more dewy by the end of the day, but overall, this guy is amazing. And the next product I would like to talk about, um, there are two ones from Stila Liquid Eyeshadows. Mm -hmm. Here we go. These colors look basically the same, but one look more mm, <clears throat> the gold side, and the other one is more over um pinky gold side um i will i didn't want to swatch it now because i swatched it before in my previous haul video but these guys i'm wearing this one today and they are awesome they stay the whole day they do not crease they do not move they are awesome and two more eyeshadows cream eyeshadows that stay the whole day are this ones from rivalon i've been talking about them for a few times, I think, already, and I'm in love with them as well. And what I do now, I would use them and um, as a waterline, not waterline, just really close to the lash line, I would use this guy here from Laura Mercier. And I still keep it <laughs> in the box. I don't know why, I just want it. Uh, the color is intense amethyst oh by the way uh, these two stealer were karma kitten and wanderlust and these two from revlon were caramel 710 and 745 cherry blossom okay 
sorry, forget to mention. Um, so guys, this one is so beautiful. Every time I add it here by the lash line, it just gives me some, you know, depth to my eyeshadows. And it basically matches any eyeshadows I've got. Like, it looks awesome with any of them, which I'm super happy about. And it stays the whole day as well. If you want to blend it out a little bit, you should be pretty quick. Otherwise, it will just dry and stay the way it is. And guys, there are also two more products I would like to mention. I've been using it a lot last month and first of all is this one hollywood flawless filter and guys i've been using it not as a highlighter but actually as a filter after my actual uh, primer i would put it like all around the face blend it out and i don't know it just um gives your skin that natural glow look and I think in summer it would look amazing on your skin. And the second one is my favorite. You can tell I've used quite a lot of it already. Um, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Guys, this one is the best. I tried a few other ones, but nothing can be compared to this one. This one is just the at the top of my list of the satin sprays and whenever you use it it just finishes the makeup it blends everything in everything together and keeps it in place for the whole day like literally for the whole day so my holy grail recommend highly recommend so guys next two items are body items and the first one i would like to talk about this Ole body wash, Ole Blossom B3 vitamin apparently, and I don't know, I've been obsessed with it, with this rose flavor in particular, it's so good, every time I take a shower I'm like, oh, it smells so good, like I ran out of this one, but I've repurchased it <laughs> for sure, and I also purchased a few other flower fragrances to try, but this one, guys, it's so good. And it doesn't dry your skin, apparently, because it contains some vitamin 3. And the other one is body lotion. And <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> I, I just like the way it looks. And this one is from Harper's Bazaar. Caca de Plum. Silky Skin Body Lotion. And this one, guys, it's so... A little... It's so milky. And it's so easy to soak in and you actually do not need a lot you can spread it all around easily it doesn't leave your skin sticky and it just smells so good and it makes your skin so soft and nice so been loving these two guys for the body last month ah, i picked up my hair products and scratched myself so whatever so hair products now first of all guys this one it's just all-time favorites i've also ordered a new one because i get only this much left and i also want to try um some living conditioner or something they've got some other products you know with this like from body aid from anti-hair loss um that's shampoo something else and i was like wow but this guy this guy is amazing and I pair it along with, it's empty, I've used it up, um, Supernatural, Supernatural is like a movie, a ginger beauty classic, ginger cane treatment cream, I'm not sure what is the name of the brand here to be honest, but guys this is a ginger mask and actually if you've got really sensitive skin it may burn your fingers or between fingers a little bit uh, so you basically after washing your hair you need to scoop I, I usually take like quite a lot of it and I spread it all around my hair um, like roots and then I massage it in for a good like maybe five to ten minutes and then I add air conditioner what hair conditioner 
to the ends, to the edges of my hair, and then I rinse it off. Guys, these two together, they work wonders. If you experience um, some hair loss, shedding, these two work. They do, they do for sure. And guys, for the hair, I also use this renewing argan oil of Morocco. <clears throat> Penetrating oil, all hair types from OGX, I believe. Guys, this oil is pretty thick, but you can tell, like, it's pretty thick. Oh my gosh, everything will be in oil. But guys, this oil is so nice. It actually makes your hair shiny, healthy, soft, alive. Even like, I think I really need to cut my edges, but using this hair oil, actually my edges look decent, way more decent than it looked before. Well, I will still, like, I still need to cut my hair. But still, guys, this hair oil, you can get it in like any drugstore, but it's not expensive, but guys, it works. It's a good one. It doesn't, you know, like make your hair greasy or reduce the volume. First, when you apply it, you're kind of like, oh, where's my volume? But basically in 10 minutes, it sucks in and your hair gets back to normal. It's a good one. And there are a few more things I would like to mention. And the first one is my all-time favorite masks for eyes. I haven't used them for a good like year. I usually use them in winter because uh, it's pretty cold, so it's really comfortable, you know, um, to fall asleep with a warm mask on your eyes. But um, I haven't tried this uh, chamomile steam eye masks at all and this time i've tried and i was like oh that's my new favorite look like this in the small pack you've got i believe five masks in the big one you've got um 12 pieces you open it up you put it on your eyes well yeah definitely and it heats up up to 40 degrees i believe it's super comfortable, soothing for the eyes, calming, and it helps you fall asleep as well. Guys, and the last but not least, I want to give a shout out for this guy. Since last month, last, oh, back in January, I've started my editing course, so now I'm learning to edit videos, though, as you can tell, I haven't applied my knowledge to my videos here yet. But this guy helped me shoot my videos a lot. Uh, this one is Huawei, blah, 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 pro. <laughs> so, because this one, it should have a number or something. I believe uh, CF15 Pro, I think it mentioned here. So, guys, this one is so good. You basically can use it as um, a selfie stick. You can use different modes. You can uh, actually use it like this, like that, any way you want. It's got a small remote control, it's extendable, and the thing that I like, you can actually put it on the table, and when you pick it up, some magic happens, and it's awesome. Well, guys, that was it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you feel better now. Love you all, and see you in my next video. Bye.